Hello everyone! Welcome to Best Recipes with Sharon. Today I'm going to show you how to make a really nice summertime dessert. I call these whipped jello parfaits and they're accented with fruit. They're not only easy to make but they're very flavorful and light and refreshing for a hot summer day. What flavor would you like? And you can do this with any flavor that you choose. Today I'm using lime, grape and strawberry. Thanks so much in advance for watching this video all the way through and for your support of this channel. Start with half a cup of boiling hot water. Pour it into a small bowl. First we'll dissolve the lime jelly powder in the hot water, stirring constantly until there's no more grains left. Alright, so on to the next flavor. And once again we start with half a cup of boiling hot water and dissolve the grains of jello powder in the hot water. This time it's the grape flavor. And the same thing for the strawberry jello. Ensure that we stir briskly while we're adding all the jello powder. And I'm doing three different flavors at once here, so I hope that's not too confusing. But for these three, we add one quarter of a cup of cold water to each of them. And give it a little stir, and add two ice cubes to each of them. Then stir until the ice cubes are completely dissolved. And so these aren't made according to the package directions. They're made with less water, but they're more like a jello jiggler, and the flavor will shine through beautifully in this dessert. And they will set up probably a little bit quicker as well, but I put them in the fridge for about three hours. And we're using 85 gram packages here. Now I'm using real whipped cream. So for every two cups of whipping cream, you'll need to have about a half a cup of icing sugar. But to use up all the jello that we've made today, we'll probably need to do two batches of this and you'll need a total of four cups of whipping cream and one cup of icing sugar. For the purpose of the video today, it will make a total of six servings for what I'm showing you today. So each box of jello makes about two servings. Let's make a serving of the strawberry jello to start. Add half the jello to a mixing bowl. Then add about the same amount of whipping cream, if anything, a little shy on the whipping cream and a little more of the jello. It's probably about three quarters of a cup of the jello and two thirds of a cup of the whipping cream. Mix that together until you get a nice color coming through, leaving little chunks of jello so that there's nice bursts of flavor throughout it. Then place about half of the jello mixture in the bottom of a wine glass. Then layer it with a little bit of whipped cream on top of that, just enough to make a layer. And you don't have to be super fussy about it uh, hitting the sides of the glass because you can clean that up after. I use a small spoon to smooth it out and to make sure that the lines are well defined. The whole purpose of putting it in a wine glass is so that it will look nice. And here I'm using a paper towel just to clean up the edges. Then place the rest of the jello mixture on top of the whipped cream. And this is starting to really look nice because it really shows the contrast in color. And once again, clean up the edges a little bit. Sometimes I just use a clean finger just to touch up the edge. Then top it off with a little bit more whipped cream. I'm just using some whipped cream from the can for this part. Top it off with a strawberry, and there you have the first one done. And as simple as it is, it looks and tastes really good. Now let's make a lime flavored parfait. And of course we start with a clean bowl each time. This is really a dessert that you can use your own imagination on. You can use any color that you prefer or any flavor that you would prefer as far as that goes. So now on to making the grape flavored jello parfait. So of course we're doing the same thing as we would have for the other two. Now the option that you could have is to put fruit in the layers and if I was doing that I would probably put the fruit in the bottom as well as on the very top. So there's all kinds of options for how you could put this together. 
and what flavors or colors that you would like to have if you were basing it on some kind of a party theme. And you know, it not only looks appealing, but it's well liked by people who don't even really like jello. Probably partially due to the texture. I top this one off with a strawberry. I don't have any lime, so I'm going to put a green grape on that one. A black cherry and maybe some blueberries on the grape one. I think the lime one would be good with some kiwi, but I don't have any of that today. But the options are endless. Store this dessert in the fridge until you're ready to eat it. But I would also suggest that you don't do the top whipped cream and berries until just before serving. And don't forget to like and to comment in the comment section. And thanks so much for your subscribing. And until next time, happy eating. Now go make some.